All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Phil here. I am happy with my life, as imperfect as it is, and I'm incredibly grateful for everything that I have. I don't have funds to do anything with right now, okay? What I don't have any empathy for him at all for is guilting it to his subscribers or his followers to give him money. And don't ever speak up again about it, because no one cares. You're misinformed, you're mis you don't know anything about it, okay? They owe you nothing. Let's get right into the news. It's a decade later, you're begging for $10 and $20 to pay your rent. <laughs> and if they want to see you play a particular game and you say, hey, I can't afford it, yes, they're gonna be upset and they're gonna keep demanding it. The reason why the company I worked for gets away with it is because of people like you. DSP. What is wrong with you? Calling all nations around the world. The worst 2021 moments is among us. Thank you for taking the time and dedication to experience Phil's train wreck from start to finish. If you enjoy the video, press the like button, comment below, share, and subscribe to the secret YouTube channel. Your support means a lot where other people around the YouTube world can experience the very same video too. Are we all good? Does that sound good? Let's get on with the show. Why did I already lose 50% okay, health? Well Fuck this. I couldn't dodge. I tried twice. It didn't work. She starts the fight with a fucking bullshit move. Fuck this. All through the day, uh, you get a lot of experience from a lot of great people. I hope to be one of them. And we're gonna talk about God of War today. GDC is the world's largest professional game industry event where programmers, artists, producers, game designers, and others involved in the development of interactive games and virtual reality gather to exchange ideas, present lectures, and shape the future of the industry. So in the previous level, as I mentioned, the theme is the shock arrow, and we try to deliver on that all throughout the level. But what you may not have noticed is that the shock arrow actually ceases around the three-quarter point in the level. Because we've shown you that these new items and abilities give you lots of different gameplay in the different levels, the flow is motivating. And most importantly, we can actually use that motivation to prioritize exploration. Here's a quick example. I want you to watch what the player does here as he boats around. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation. We're back. New levels of depravity. Look where we are, we're back. Okay, so in this example, the player is exploring the hub. They've been correctly taught the shock arrow mechanic. And thanks to the design work done by Kai Zeng, they've also been told that shock arrows mean interesting themes and that there's a lot of different variety and a lot of different gameplay, right? So we've made a convincing promise to the player. So watch it one more time, and I want you to watch just what the camera behavior does. The taste of Vanir magic led him to new forms of experimentation. We're back. And new levels of depravity. Look where we are, we're back. Boom, and there it is. He saw a shock crystal, right? He has been taught correctly. He has been promised interesting gameplay. And because he is returning to the hub, he is thinking, oh, I feel like doing one of those. It's good for players to feel motivated via UI or completion percentages. These are very valid design techniques and tools. 
But it's also good if players are self-motivated because they're actually seeking out interesting content. If this player likes shot crystal scenarios, then he can go and find more of them on his own. Players are trained that new abilities will be unlocked in the levels and that in turn, interesting scenarios will be delivered. So the promise becomes more than just completion percentages. The promise becomes interesting scenarios. Joseph sees as they use your playing God of War as an example of how they teach players the game rules for the levels or whatever, your face is blurred out, but you can totally tell that it's you and your audio. Uh, that's illegal. Just so they know, that's illegal. You, at least, you at least have to ask me for permission so that I can give you permission and then they can, they can say, okay, it's, you know, it's a fair use of it. You can't just steal someone's gameplay and block their face out and use it at your conference. So they used my gameplay as an example of how they used in-game tools to teach me how to play the game. That's, that's cool. That means it was effective. They had effective tools. The player was able to learn. That's actually good. But that's monetized content. The advertisement rights are for YouTube to advertise, and they're not supposed to be able to just steal it. So that's kind of messed up that they did that. But if someone takes your content and uses it for their own purposes without permission, that is not fair use. Commentary, criticism, transformative work, those are all fair use. Taking someone out of something out of someone's gameplay, blurring their face, and using it in your own creative project has nothing to do with the original is not fair use at all darkness says you deserve credit for it yeah like at the very least all right if you're going to use someone else's content at least give them a plug like be like oh okay so i used it in, the, in this this example thing at gdc but then put on the screen courtesy of dsp gaming channel on youtube right it should just be i just steal it and fucking edit your face out and now act like it's not you it's fucked up but this is these people just do what they, whatever they do man <laughs> Maybe I mention it a couple times on stream. Hey guys, you want to support, please tip me or whatever. I say that, right? All the time. That's fine. Well, when you tip me, I get more of the tip than the other transactions. I keep more of what you're actually contributing to the stream when you tip me. So it makes sense if you want to help the most. Tip me because I get it right away and I get more of it. You understand? Okay. I would really appreciate it if anyone wanted to contribute could help out if they could. Number one, I'm already trying to offset a $50 chargeback from earlier today. Number two, I just got several fake tips tonight I had to refund that cost me. So not only did I have an incredibly slow couple of days, I just lost basically all the tips that I made today. I just got a $30 chargeback against my account. And it was one that I was trying to fight too and didn't work. To charge Arthur, are you... This fucking motherfucker who just charged me back all those tips. Seriously, if you are, I, I I hate you. You understand how much problems that gives me. You know that, right? Like, you know that when I get chargebacks, now I gotta fucking go through so many hoops. And if that's you, you're a piece of shit. You're a human piece of filth. A living turd. This has not updated in 15 hours. Is Streamlabs down or some shit? This is bad because now I can't keep track of your contributions because it seems like Streamlabs is fucked up. I can't even get Streamlabs to work right. <laughs> what the hell? All right, so resuming where we just were, guys, apologies, you know, obviously having technical difficulties and things that I can't control sucks ass. I have no idea why right now my Streamlabs tips page is not uh, working. I have no clue what to say, but I said, what the hell? I sent a help log to Streamlabs to see what would happen, you know, anything right now. Like I said, I've gotten no notice from anyone that there's any issue. I don't think that is the case. I don't think there's actually an issue going on, and I hope they'll look into it and fix it, okay? Benzugo lives, you cannot tip through Streamlabs, it doesn't work. You have to tip through Stream Elements. That's the new tips link. Please number nine, I can't use Streamlabs tips. Do you not remember why I moved from Streamlabs to Stream Elements? 
Because fucking Streamlabs also shadow banned me and didn't tell me shit. And I didn't do anything. Whenever it was that Streamlabs decided to stop accepting tips for me for no good reason at all and no justification, keep in mind, I never would have left Streamlabs if Streamlabs didn't, for some odd reason, apparently shadow ban me from getting tips with literally no explanation whatsoever. Uh, people don't like you, Twitch. People hate you. They think you're scum. Twitch has been victim to the largest hacking dump in history. Ladies and gentlemen, Twitch.tv is one of the biggest live streaming service, if not the biggest live streaming service out there. And home to countless gamers, gamers, entertainers, musicians, podcasters, and people sitting in hot tubs. They fell victim to an absolutely massive security breach earlier this week, which resulted in a very large amount of sensitive data being publicly leaked. All of its source code is out on the internet for everyone to see. We're talking 125 gigabytes of source code uploaded to 4chan this morning, and there is a lot. Now, why did this happen? The person who dumped the data essentially said in a nutshell, Twitch has become a toxic cesspool, and I don't like it anymore, so fuck them. Here, take all their shit. So this is the update. It's been confirmed by Twitch that they have been hacked. We can confirm a breach has taken place. Our teams are working with urgency to understand the extent of this. We will update the community as soon as additional information is available. Thank you for bearing with us. This is illegal. What happened is 100% illegal, okay? No one should hack anyone. No one should have their, their personal data, the source code of a site. None of that should ever be stolen and dumped anywhere. I am staunchly against crimes and malicious actions like this. What else got leaked? Um, financial records. And even salaries of the biggest streamers on its platform were leaked. Basically stating what people made on Twitch between like mid-2019 until when this data dump happened the other day. Like someone made a spreadsheet of all the big streamers, how much they're making monthly, how much they're making yearly. How much your favorite entertainers or maybe least favorite entertainers <laughs> yeah. on Twitch yeah. are making. Why does anyone care about these numbers? It's already publicly available. Keep in mind, these are only from Twitch payouts, right? This doesn't include sponsorships or donations, which is where a lot of money can come from. The Twitch earnings, yeah. as you may have heard. Mm -hmm. What rank were you? 39. At the very same time, a lot of streamers are very transparent. For example, like me, I always have the number of members or subs or whatever on my screen. You guys see when people cheered on Twitch because there was always a pop-up. So all my income was always transparent. There shouldn't be any shock to anyone to look at numbers of income that I made and say, oh, I didn't know that it filmed that much. Well, guess what? It was all public. You, you, you always knew what was happening with me, and you knew I wasn't filthy rich. <laughs> I'm not. I want people to think that I'm struggling. That way, they give money to streamers, because the way it works is generally, when streamers are poor, people give them money. That's why they give them money. People in social media circles, especially top-rated influencers, make a lot of money. Yeah, they can't pretend to be poor anymore. <laughs> yeah, because they're not. Oh, Phil, well... Why you, you're, you don't do this thing that Dr. Disrespect does, or, man, why don't you do this cool thing that Maximilian dude does? Why don't you have the production quality of this other content creator? Because they make 50 times more fucking money than I do. That's why.
mor morons on the internet who think that this is like important, it affects me at all. It has zero effect on me. Everyone knows that the data, what the data is. The data is representative of two years of income on Twitch, by the way, not one. It's pre-tax data. It's not shocking data at all. A famous YouTuber. Oh no! It's PewDiePie! Hey, how's it going? How's it going? Hey, how's it going? How's it going? My name is PewDiePie! Thank you for being a bro and always being there. So fuck you, you piece of. I feel like a couple of these streamer fails we've looked at are like staged. Oh, but you know, there is one streamer that, uh, you know, forgot to turn off the camera. Yeah. 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 Do you know, have you seen that one? Well, I know of one. I dare not say the name. No, nah, he doesn't deserve attention. He's a piece of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Snow Carl is tipped $1.50. He says, I saw a clip PewDiePie took out of nowhere. He took a shot at you on his channel. Do you think he did this in retaliation? Are you talking shit about him? Or do you think he does it as a lazy way to get clout? PewDiePie is not relevant that much anymore. I mean, to his core audience, I'm sure he is. But how many people do you see talking about PewDiePie in 2021? The guy essentially became a hermit, moved into his house he's in the hills. He makes a video every once in a while that gets a million views because his viewers never go away. But who gives a shit about PewDiePie, right? This guy is still making references to things that happened five and a half years ago as if they happened yesterday. He's referencing Dark Side Phil five and a half year old events. Okay. Congratulations, PewDiePie. Have a good life. Thanks for still keeping me in the back of your head. You know why they say how you live rent-free in someone's mind? Apparently, I will always be in PewDiePie's mind, likely because, as we all know, let's be honest here, he was a nobody back in the day. I was a big YouTuber. He watched my videos, liked them, and commented on them when he was not making content. He then was inspired by me and I'm sure other content creators to go on and make his content, and he became, of course, one of the biggest gaming content creators in history but likely he still thinks about me from time to time and when he does he thinks it's funny to make a five and a half year old insulting reference when in reality no one gives a fuck about him either so like i said this guy has zero relevance to the common to, to the common person today or the modern gamer like during the era when ninja became popular and all of that PewDiePie just faded right into obscurity, and no one talks about this guy except his core audience now. So, more power to him. I'm happy for him. Let him keep doing what he's doing and be filthy rich. But, uh, you know, the fact that he has to try to take shots at me randomly out of nowhere, I think it pretty shows uh, the level of where he is in his mind. Okay? He doesn't even do anything anymore. Like, literally, what I've heard is all he does is drama videos. Like, that's what he likes to do. Oh, gaming news. It's not news, it's drama. That's all he does. He doesn't even like want to play games or anything anymore. When was PewDiePie ever judged as a good authority on games or anything? He was always a jokester. He was always like a, like a clownish character. Now he's changed his formula up and he feels like he's more of a different kind of guy. But look what he does. He makes drama videos. He's fucking insulting me five and a half years after the fact. It's like, you see? PewDiePie is not relevant that much anymore, but how many people do you see talking about PewDiePie in 2021? If 
If I had to choose between the world and PewDiePie, I would choose PewDiePie. <laughs> of course. I'm gonna play this game every single level. I am not gonna skip anything. That way I, we see the entirety of the game. All right, so challenge number one. And I'll give you guys two minutes. So an anonymous dollar thirty tipper says, first of all, didn't I just use game reviews to judge if I was gonna skip by a movie? Yes, because the consensus was every single person playing the game had the same exact criticisms of the game. The majority, and not only just the main ones, but even independent guys, had general criticisms of the game that were all common. In the case of Biomutant, everyone kind of agrees the game's boring is dirt after about three hours. That's the difference. Very different situation. It's not apples to apples comparison. I feel like more like I wake up in the morning and I'm excited no matter what I'm playing. I'm excited to jump into it. I'm a variety streamer, which means I'm not always doing the same thing every day. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're starting off my weekly throwback session of Old School Street Fighter with some Geefster. All right, it's time to start with our weekly session of Old School Throwback Street Fighter fun. Anyway, guys, welcome to the stream. Welcome to Street Fighter. <laughs> this is so stupid. It's the worst fight. It's the worst fight. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Currently, we've got Call of Duty Vanguard on the November 5th, which admittedly it sounds like not a lot of people are excited for, and I've already said I'm skipping. I'm not playing the game, I'm skipping it this year. First time ever that I'm skipping a yearly uh, Call of Duty, and I'm skipping it this year. Yeah. I always say this, I'll say it again. I love being a variety streamer. On November 11th, I'm gonna start with GTA 3. I guarantee you, those videos will have more views than anything I've done in like the last six months. GTA brings the butts to seats. <laughs> Skyward Sword HD. Honestly, and admittedly, not a high-profile release. It's a re-release. It's a game that people asked me for for three straight months when it was announced and would I be playing it, and I said, yes, I'll play it since people seem to want it. Now, all of a sudden, I'm playing it, and people are like, oh, why are you playing it? Like, because you asked for it. Thank you, Alfred. Biggest tip of the day, and I really appreciate that because we had not had a contribution in almost an hour. I really appreciate that. I do really need help with tips today, guys. Please, if you are going to contribute today, please tip me. I need to raise these tips goals today to pay my taxes tomorrow, so please... Tip me if you can. I just want to play games and have fun, man. This is going to be interesting. I got a, a good one for this. And let's set it up so it only takes a minute, uh, only a minute for you guys. No, I did not mention the Nickelodeon fighting game. I'm not playing it. Quite frankly, from what I'm seeing on social media, I don't think I missed that much. I hate to say it, one of those quick, quick appetizer style games, but not necessarily a full-fledged tasty game that doesn't, it certainly doesn't have a lot of content or anything, okay? You know, I'm a variety streamer. I like and enjoy playing a variety of games. I do. I pride myself on that, that I don't just play the same stuff over and over. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mass Effect Legendary Edition. Mass Effect is one of my favorite games of all time. And the fact that we're gonna be able to play it now with modernized graphics, modern improvements. <laughs> Shimogani Tensei 5 on November 12th, but here's the thing. I'm already in the midst of a, a lengthy RPG with Lost Judgment. I'm not starting another RPG right now. I already told everyone there's no way I'm starting another RPG till Lost Judgment's done, so that's shelved for now. 
I have variety in my content so I don't get burnt out on only playing one game or one style of game, which is really good. I'm finally going to properly learn how to become a YouTuber. Let's do it. <laughs> A lot of RPGs came out this year that I skipped for various reasons. And in regards to Tales of Arise, I skipped it because I was going to be playing Lost Judgment, right? So with all these games coming out, the question is, what's the correct choice to play? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I do. That's why I'm a variety streamer. I don't just play the same kind of game every stream, and you know that. <laughs> 11 years later. Holy crap, what a journey it's been. From 2010 to 2021, today is the premiere of Alan Wake Remastered. Holy crap. <laughs> well, that was way too much. So, you erupted on me. so okay. For World 1-3, since these are easy worlds, I'm going to do more difficult challenges. So, beat 1-3 without dying. Okay. Boring. Divinity 2 is viewer's choice. People asked for it. I played it 60 hours. And at the end of 60 hours, people literally said, stop playing it. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's an hour left on tonight's stream. We've really gotten far tonight, haven't we, in this game? And now every day you get idiots coming in here. Ugh, why did you do Divinity 2? Because you fucking told me to. Oh my goodness. So guys, we got about another 45 to 50 minutes left on the stream, just so everyone knows. I'd appreciate it if you guys could contribute to the stream. Right now we have $11 in tips, which is incredibly bad, not going to lie. I can't do everything. I can't. I can't play every game. I can't do every possible thing. I, I like to play games for fun. Thanks for the money, dummies. Because that's exactly what you fucking are. A bunch of fucking empty-headed idiots who paid me money to get absolutely nothing out of it. Thanks. <laughs>
rip it out, replace it. I guarantee you this is $1,000. I guarantee it. You might say, well, why don't you just call the plumber? I don't have money. I have no money right now. I have $0 to spend on anything. So I can't even call a plumber to come fix my, my shower. And now I'm like, now where's money supposed to come from to pay for this, this plumber? I don't know. I really don't know. But I just can't right now. I have no money. I'm, I'm right now for the next week, I'm literally strapped for cash. The only money I'll have is tips coming in on the streams. And that, by the way, I have to raise money to pay two big bills next week. I got all my utilities are due next week. So now in the next few days, I have to raise money to pay my utilities. All right, so let's head back in here and let's see what we can do. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I just received a $25 tip from the Brick Boy 103 He's loving the playthrough so far. Keep up the great work. Your streams are awesome. Now I received a $30 tip from Phil Smokes Crack. He says, oh, no, I'm holding the leaderboard. I'm really ready for a tip war tonight. Uh, Brick, The Brick Boy 103 tipped me $75. and says, you're on Phil Smokes Crack tip war. Okay, there it is. Yeah, Phil Smokes Crack tipped $100 and says, bring it on, motherfucker. Wow. So Phil Smokes Crack is now the top tipper. And I apologize that your, your pop-up didn't work. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brick Boy just did a $103 tip. And now the Brick Boy is the top tipper of the night. Oh my god, Phil Smokes Crack just tipped $120. Did you guys see that? It's actually my... Oh my god, another ginormous tip just came in. All right. Let's finish this. <laughs> Let's finish this plot and then I'll shout that out. Dude, there was another freaking tip from Phil Smokes Crack who just tipped $160. Oh my god. No. <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, the Brick Boy 103 just did a $300 tip. And said, beat this Phil Smokes crap. Thank you guys so much. I really appreciate everyone hanging with me and chilling and supporting. It was a great night, obviously. And there's going to be more Lost Judgment coming later this week. Okay, guys? Thank you so much. Now. Now there's a crazy dog. What is going on here? No, no, Gloob, if you ever ask me a stupid question like that again, I'm just going to ban you outright. I mean it. I mean it, too. You're being a fucking complete dumbass by saying something stupid like that. Over here. Get here. What I really need, I don't need any, any more vests. If anyone is interesting, interested in contributing to the streams in that way, I don't need a vest. What I need are hats. I would like to have some new hats. I have new hats uh, for my stream today for the first time ever. I've always only had a cowboy hat to put on if we hit the tips goal. Now I have four new hats to debut. So every time we hit a tips goal, 
on a stream, moving forward, people will be able to vote for a new kind of hat. Uzi Godlike just tipped ten dollars, and he says, "Go and put on that hat." You guys have been saying to me recently that I'm getting old, right? You guys can tell me how I'm getting very old, and that everything around here, you know, virtually my my hair seems to be turning white. All yeah, crazy. My hair, all my hair is turning white, and I I don't know what you're talking about. I don't know what the hell you guys are talking about. My hair. Let us show off the hat. It's going to be the new hat. I have no idea how you guys are going to react to this one. It's pretty similar to another hat. The only difference is that you're about to see. This hat is rounded. It's a round hat. Okay. All right. Well, guys, digital one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for those who wanted to see a new hat. I don't know what happened. Digital one. I guess another another stream we try to reveal the two new hats. I don't know what's going on that people are like really building the fucking suspense for these two new hats. I don't know why, but digital it is. I like this hat. We have one tip. This ten dollar tip from Chris. Thank you, Chris. We were going to receive the see the reveal of a new hat live on stream right now. All right, ready? <laughs> so stupid. Ah, yes. Hello. I am uh, General Bison. And I'm here to take over the world with my, my forces of Shadowloo as well as stream and make some, to make some money. <laughs> yes. It's actually, it's, it looks exactly like M. Bison's hat, except I, they didn't have one with a skull, so I got a star. But it looks like M. Bison's hat. It's supposed to be like a military hat. It's pretty funny. <laughs> Lake Placid, thank you for the super chat. No, I don't like communism. How dare you even say that? It's ridiculous. I hate communism. I have work I need done, and nobody here at the camp has the time or inclination to help me out. This is what happens when you let the do whatever they want. <laughs> You've let the overrun space, and now look at this. Their greed has had the artifact turn everyone into necromorphs. So now I, the last remaining must exterminate them. Hello, I just think it's stupid because people, of course, have to immediately associate everything with something bad with me because they want to be dickheads and try to basically spin everything to be toxic. So because I'm wearing a military hat of the style that a ridiculous amount of people in history have worn, including M. Bison, a character that I frequently pick in a fighting game once a week, they gotta all say it's a hat. So it's this simple. When I see it, you're banned. I'm not even around. If I see you say it once, you're banned. This is your one warning. If I see it in chat, you are banned. I don't care if you're a regular. I don't care who the f you are. If I see it, you're banned. Period. I'm not putting up with you trying to be toxic on my stream. I'm having fun here. And all of a sudden, I look at the stream chat. Everyone, oh, no. hit the No, how about this? Banned, 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 banned. Gone. Forever. Because I don't put up with your your toxic sh is not welcome on my streams ever. So get the f out now. It's not a funny f joke. It's not. You're out of here. So I'm done with it. If I see it once, you're banned. And you're not coming back. No come begging me in emails. Can I be unbanned? I didn't know. F you, you toxic idiot. You got to bring a f on my stream. F you're banned. Period. 
Now everyone acts like they didn't say it when it's been said for the past 10 minutes. So I can't wait for the first idiot to be f***ing banned right now. Banned, 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 banned. <laughs> uh, Ducky Swerve, I don't have a Discord, so I don't know what the hell you're talking about. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I have your IP, I have your name, and I have your address. So, congratulations. You fucked up. Yeah, I have your names. I have your information. So, go right ahead and go to jail. You will be prosecuted. Actually, it's a serious crime, and if you'd like to have that on your record, just for the case of a try to do a prank that no one can see, wow, go for it, dude. Yeah, how you doing? Be awesome. One over in Europe. How you doing? I have your name and address, so you know, any day that I feel like making a trip across the pond, I'll come see you. <laughs> it's really smart doing those false copyright claims against me and giving me your IP on my website. It was very smart. Are we ready to start? Everyone's ready. Anonymous is leaving the stream. Well, all right. See you later, Anonymous. Okay then. Anonymous, no one has any idea what you're talking about. So if you could please uh, stop being silly in the stream chat, I'd appreciate it. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> Seriously, like, can we? I'm trying to concentrate on a game. Can you stop with this now? I don't know what the hell you're talking about. He seems to be being very dramatic and is derailing everything. So please stop and relax. <laughs> Alright, everyone, relax. Everyone, please relax. I have no idea what's going on. If that anonymous has decided to not become be a moderator anymore, that's great, but I'm not going to have my st whole stream be derailed by it. He didn't talk to me about this at all. Oh, check my stream. Oh, I don't know what the stream title is. I have no idea. <laughs> Phil doxed PW Doves? No, I didn't. I've never doxed anyone. All right, so let's fix this. I don't know, stupid. Let me just quickly take a look over here. Just to make sure everything's okay and then we'll begin. Okay, give me one second. Oh! Alright guys, sorry for the derailment. Uh, Anonymous basically is an idiot. And he basically... Basically he's trying to, to make conspir more conspiracy bullshit up. Uh, that has nothing to do with anything. He's gonna go out there and try to say negative shit about me. Like, he, he acts like he did some kind of a big negative thing. By le leaking chats between me and my moderators. Which I've told you guys for the longest time. Yes, me and my moderators talk behind the scenes. About things like... 
things going on on stream, people trying to get unbanned. Nothing inflammatory, nothing controversial at all. It's just that he, he's lost his mind and wanted to get internet notoriety amongst Kiwi Farms. What a shock. Awkward Chase, do you think it's an issue? Too many of your fans are wrestling fans and love this sort of drama and heel turns. I have no idea. I, I don't think it has anything to do with wrestling. It has to do with people just being incredibly immature. Another, another person stabs me in the back. Another person tries to treat me like shit for whatever fucking reason. To charge Arthur, are you this fucking motherfucker who just charged me back all those tips? Seriously, if you are, I, I, I hate you. You understand how much problems that gives me. You know that, right? Like, you know that when I charge back, now I gotta fucking go through so many hoops. And if that's you, you're a piece of shit. You're a human piece of filth. A living turd. Now I need to go back during break. I need to go look at all the tips and all that shit. This is such a frustrating day right now. Y O Y Charity says, I heard you dox PW dubs. Is that true? No. No, there was no private doxing. <laughs> he, he sent me information to try to prove who he was, and he blocked off the information that he felt was too private. So I posted the edited, the censored information to my moderator team and says, here's what's going on with this viewer, FYI, because people are accusing him of certain things, and, you know, here's the truth. That's not doxing. <laughs> Stupidity. Expand on, I don't even know what you're talking about. See who he says, it has to do with the 2017 ban of Anonymous. I have no idea. You really think I remember something that happened randomly in 2017? A ban of some? I don't have no idea what you're talking about, nor do I care. <laughs> nor do I fucking care. Okay.
oh, by the way, I have your IP, I have your name, and I have your address. I told you, Twitch is the future, Twitch loves me and my streams, and let's all have fun on Twitch. While streaming Danganronpa V3, all of a sudden, people are telling me, what happened to the chat crowns? Oh, look at that. There's some kind of a glitch. Only Ice Coffee just realized there's a glitch on Twitch. Everyone's subscriber crowns turned bronze for no reason. What the hell? Uh, the subs are going away. So then I said, on a whim, I said, well, let me go ahead and check my email. Apparently, uh, something just happened very bad is what happened, guys. From Twitch Partnership Removals, Notice of Indefinite Suspension and Termination for Dark Side Phil. Dear Phil Burnell, pursuant to the Content License Agreement and then the date that I signed it, by between you and Twitch Interactive with respect to your Twitch account, Dark Side Phil, we're terminating the agreement effective immediately pursuant to the terms contained within. Sincerely, Twitch Partnership Team. And that's it. And I'm looking at it, I'm like, it says terms contained within. There's no attachment on this email. It's just a just generic form letter email is all I got. Okay. There's no information. It doesn't say you did this wrong. It doesn't say, oh, here's a, there was a violation and therefore, you know, we're, we're going to give you a suspension or whatever. It's just, you're out of the partnership program. Okay? I can't, yeah, see? People are saying there's no cheering available anymore. Now, I guess the bright side of this is I'm still here. The stream's still going. They didn't shut me down. They didn't ban me from Twitch, right? I no longer have a direct point of contact with Twitch. I haven't in some time. I used to have a guy who I could contact behind the scenes to talk to about issues. I could talk to him directly, and he would tell me what was going on. I haven't had that in two years. That guy apparently got laid off or something, and they never gave me a new contact. I requested one, and they denied me. Snowcrawl to me dollar thirty says after Sherlock level detected where people are telling me trolls mass report you using the offsite terms of service report mail maybe that triggered it I mean it could but it, the thing is trolls have been been fucking mass reporting me for shit I haven't been doing since the start of everything you know what I mean like they've been trying to get me off YouTube they've been trying to get me off Twitch they've been trying to get me off all these services forever. There's no evidence. You guys are idiots. There's no fucking evidence because, like I told you, the information that was given to me by PW Dubs was edited to hide his personal information. You have no idea what you're talking about and just shut the fuck up now. Uh, Beast Bot sent me a dollar thirty. It says, might be a reach. Do you think this might have resulted through the conversations regarding the Chauvin trial? No. We talked, we didn't say anything controversial on this stream. Nothing at all. Absolutely nothing at all was said controversial on this stream about the Chauvin trial. Anything that was that was said was cursory and certainly nothing inflammatory at all. Nothing inflammatory at all was said. That's ridiculous. If you did what you do, which is you stream, you turn off your stream, and you immediately upload to YouTube, you are violating the agreement. And sadly, people are super gullible and stupid, and they think that they're smarter than everyone else when they're not. They're dumb as shit. Uh, officially, for all partners and affiliates on Twitch, the official rule 
is you can't upload any content to any other website within 24 hours of its production on Twitch. So I went downstairs and I, I spoke with my wife. By the way, Kat is completely upset. She's crying. I don't blame her. I'm tired of this abuse. I'm tired of being the guy who gets beat up. I'm tired of the guy. There's people on this site right now on Twitch. All right? They are doing gross stuff. They are doing sexualized stuff. They are preying on their audience. They are doing messed up stuff right now. They are in the partnership program, but I'm not. Everyone likes Twitch so much, you like the quality of the streams here, you're already following me here, right? That I stay here, but basically I end up kind of being in a situation where there's there's none of the fun stuff. There's no no cheering, no subbing, what seems to be there will be no emotes. YouTube is an option, alright? YouTube is an option, but it's not a guaranteed good option. It, it, here's the thing though, I'll be very honest with all of you, I really don't like streaming on YouTube. You know, I don't know if I want to do that because I ha I absolutely hate the chat on YouTube. The chat is nearly uncontrollable on YouTube. It is. It's nearly uncontrollable. Ladies and gentlemen, I make thousands of dollars on Twitch a month. Or at least I was. At this point, it looks like I probably won't be able to anymore. But I was making thousands of dollars on Twitch a month, out of which Twitch was taking cuts. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, every single time that you guys bought bits... Okay, every time that you guys bought bits, uh, they made money on that. The only way I can stay on Twitch is for you to support me with tips, period. If that doesn't happen, I gotta go somewhere else. Oh, that's terrible. When stationary, negative 75% damage, that's really bad. I didn't say, oh, shut the f up. I didn't say anything. What the hell are you talking about? People are f dumb, man. No, you didn't hear anything. You're stupid. Maybe maybe you're hearing bad words on the stream because you want to hear them because you're an idiot. You ever think of that? Uh-oh. Well, I might have been banned. Yep. It looks like I was banned from Twitch, and I don't know why. I have no idea what just happened, but it looks like I'm down off of Twitch. I have no clue. Let's find out. Hateful slurs or symbols. I didn't do a hateful slur or symbol. It never happened. I didn't do any hateful slurs. This is bull I've had enough of this shit. I've seriously had enough of this shit. I did not use a hateful slur on today's stream at all. No hateful slur occurred. Just because someone clipped something that may sound like that, it didn't say it. It didn't happen. It did not happen. And this is and I'm tired of it. I'm tired of being treated like by Twitch. Oh, you said a racial slur. No, I didn't. It didn't happen. I'm not, I'm not putting up with this anymore. I had enough of this, man. I really had enough of this. Why was I kicked out of the partner program? And am I ever going to be eligible again to reapply for it and see if I can get back into it? Because this is how I was making my living. Okay? Right now, ladies and gentlemen, I have the email from Twitch Legal. They finally responded to me over two weeks after I initially sent my request. I am furious right now. Furious. That is the least of the, of the way that I can describe this, how angry I am right now. Dear Darkside Phil, thank you for your message. 
As stated in Twitch's partnership April 21st, 2021 correspondence to you, Twitch exercised its right to terminate the content licensing agreement dated November 25th, 2016. That's when I had signed the, that contract when I had come back to Twitch in 2016. With respect to your Twitch account, Darkside Phil, the agreement pursuant to the terms therein, Twitch terminated the agreement following its investigation of repeated instances of inappropriate conduct involving hateful slurs in violation of section 4.2.7 appropriate conduct agreement. What the f are you f***ing talking about, you lame brain pieces of Hateful slurs. Hateful slurs. What hateful slurs do I use on my streams? People are stupid. Other games, like, I have no problem. But this game, I, there, there's no surround sound. They're Ugh, I want to watch some it and insult some you go on YouTube. How do you avoid someone joining your party when it's set to private? Are they stupid? So shut the up trying to spread misinformation. That's not what happened, okay? There were no hateful slurs ever on my streams, ever. Since I've been on Twitch, I don't use hateful slur language at all. Ever, 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 ever. I can't, dude, they're still there. Seriously, two little sitting there. Meh. Oh my god, look at this idiot. I'm playing a game online and someone turns on their mic randomly and says, you, you little man child piece, you know, whatever they're gonna say to me. I bad, man. It's so bad. I'm the least amount. I grew up in a multicultural world. Every school I ever went to or whatever, I was surrounded by people of every race, color. I don't care about that. I don't see people by the color of their skin. It's a book, obviously it's supposed to be Asian. The name of the author was I Ching. I Ching. I Ching. I Ching. Are you kidding me? I've never, ever used a hateful slur. Ever. And that me off so you may be eligible for partner status in April of 2022 dear twitch watch this video and listen to me very carefully I want a public apology from you I never did what you were telling me I did there cannot possibly be evidence I did because it never happened not once have I used a hateful slur on a stream on Twitch.tv. Never. Ever. Shut the up. I'm going to tell you right now, unless you want to be permanently banned again. Look at that. I got right back in because the guy's a f***er. <laughs> One second, we got this. Now they're going to get you before you revive me, I think. What the f*** they didn't? What are they You owe me an apology. In addition to that, I demand that if you do the right thing here, you're going to reinstate my partnership. And if I don't get it, I'm never going back to Twitch. As you guys know, I've already started streaming on YouTube this week. So far, so good. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of changes to implement. There's going to be a lot of things to get used to here. All right, it's different. But I feel as a community, we can, we can start building back and we can grow. Done. That's the end of the video. In the next few days, I need tremendous help with tips if possible. I have no money. I just can't do it. I have no money this week, you know. What can you do? If you could please contribute, I would appreciate that. So that way, I don't go through November making no money at all on YouTube. 
And I appreciate this. I really need the help. I need to hit this goddamn tip goal today. Please, guys. Please, if we can make it happen. I really need the help, okay? The fact that he was begging for tips under the guise that he was poor, right? He's feigning kind of poverty, essentially. is what people had a real problem with, and people kind of made it their, you know, life's work to uncover it. You're not supposed to ask for him. Right. The motherfucker begs for the motherfuckers, right? And constantly try to guilt trip and try to wring out as much money as he can from his very devoted but very small audience. I received a $150 tip from Death Face. Thank you to Death Face. Yes, it is, it is legit. It's another one from the Devil UK. The person who took me $200 earlier just to be another $200. Dude, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, man. I think I just received a $1,000 tip. Holy shit. Thank you to anyone who gave anything today. I was not expecting anything like this. Thank you very, very much. And Jeff, wow. Thank you, sir. That is amazing. Thank you for helping us. Really, thank you. So on Saturday, a person on Kiwi Farms posted information of how they were able to get access to the bank records of Darkside Phil, aka Philip Barnell. Um, one particular person managed to socially engineer their way into getting a hold of Darkside Phil's banking records. So what they did for weeks were social engineer, as they like to say, mm -hmm. the rest of it. Uh, you could do that through a phone call, you can do that through some loophole in the law, you can do that through an email. There's so many ways that you can uh, get somebody's information through social engineering. The people who got access to Phil's financial records did so with things that were very publicly known on the internet. So just like, don't bank with Bank of America. That's the only takeaway I could take from this. And that's really what one of the things leaks have shed light on is that Phil's expenses are not necessarily things that you would consider necessary or urgent bills. On May 4th, a debit card purchase for $5.05 from Amazon. On May 3rd, a debit card purchase for $5.78 from Starbucks. On April 27th, a pre-authorized payment of $212.33 from Liberty Mutual. On April 21st, a debit card purchase for $28.19 from Fred Meyer. On April 26th, a debit card purchase for $210.26 from Fred Meyer. On April 26th, a debit card purchase for $48.31 from IHOP. You can see that he started that day with fucking IHOP. I thought you didn't eat breakfast, you piece of shit. How many times has he said, oh, well, I was too busy and I don't eat breakfast and I just come straight to the streams and blah, blah, blah. Uh, I'm going to be very honest with everyone. This last week I had giant bills to pay. And by the time that I had paid them, I had no money. On May 3rd, a debit card purchase for $57.26 from DoorDash. On May 26th. A debit card purchase for $63.55 from DoorDash. On April 26th, a debit card purchase for $46.27 from DoorDash. Now you're at a thousand, you're at a thousand dollars a week just in DoorDashing. 
What is wrong with you? Things that you wouldn't get if you're obviously financially destitute and in a tough puff spot. You just wouldn't. You just buy, eat, drink coffee at home. Sadly, uh, I ran out of money. On April 26th, a debit card purchase for $21.46 from PetSmart. On April 19th, a debit card purchase for $21.46 from PetSmart. On May 3rd, a debit card purchase for $62.12 from PetSmart. Jasper the King over there living living life like a bougie cat. That cat never lived life so good. He's, he got rescued by the dark one. I have no money for anything right now. I can't even pre-order the PS5 or the Series X or anything when, when that happens. I have to wait, so. On July 21st, 2020, a direct deposit of $1,537.87 from Google. On May 17th, a credit in the amount of $4,241.11. On February 12th, a credit in the amount of $5,264.81. On March 24th, a direct deposit of $1,400 from Internal Revenue Service. And holy shit, he got the $1,400 tax credit from Trump? How? Another concerning purchasing trend is the weekly visits to Total Wine and More. It seems as if Phil has a habit of spending upwards of $70 a week at a liquor store. In a month, he spent $400 on gin. Total Wine 27, he spent like $500 at the liquor store in one month. On April 26th, a debit card purchase for $35.51 from Total Wine. On September 22nd, a debit card purchase for $35.51 from Total Wine. On April 12th, a debit card purchase for $35.51 from Total Wine. On April 19th, a debit card purchase for $71.02 from Total Wine. It is what it is because I don't drink gin. Like, I haven't had gin in a very long time. Now, mind you, when he's talking about he needs money, right? This is what he spent money on. On April 19th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from PayPal. On April 19th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from PayPal. On May 10th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from PayPal. On May 10th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from PayPal. On May 10th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09 from PayPal. On May 17th, a pre-authorized payment of $110.09. $110.09 
from PayPal. And why is it a 1651? Well, because there is a little bit of tax. It's actually 1499 because it's his payment for WWE champions. Uh, largely due to the fact that Phil is an avid player of it. And I think that the leaks have definitively proven this. Truth, right now, I have not played any mobile game in any major way in over two years, including this fucking WWE game that these idiots keep bringing up. It's not my account. And we're able to surmise that he's spending thousands of dollars on WWE champions, even though he was saying that he wasn't playing this game, which is basically a gambling game. $4,500, 29.7%. Almost a third went to WWE champions in March. I really need help with tips over the next four days to pay these bills that are all coming due around Wednesday-ish, okay? A pre-authorized payment of eleven $11.22.01, $1.10.09, $2.62.42.62.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.42.
And he's going on here and guilt tripping these people into giving him money. Right. It's wrong, bro. No, it is wrong, but these people, some of them, not saying all, some people who know they have the fucking right mind know they shouldn't be sending this nigga motherfucker shit. But they do it. DSP, we all know you're financially irresponsible. We all know you're an idiot. But holy shit, DSP. Like, how do you have a gambling addiction like that, man? It's actually fucking sad to see. But now those banking deals basically prove what everyone was saying was right. He gets far more money than he's letting on. This guy is definitely reporting WWE champions on his taxes. Holy shit, DSP. Are you trying to go to jail? But honestly, that this type of situation, bro, when you go to court. Yeah, it's going to be. They a... going to make a fool out of these people who are spending their money. This man is using your money and lying to you every day and drinking himself silly every night. Over the last week, it has come to my attention and my, my knowledge, finally, that I have been subject to the crime of identity theft. All right? Someone found out my personal information, whether it's stuff that was posted publicly or it's stuff that was not, because I know for a fact that there's access to information that should not be public whatsoever, my private stuff. I, I don't, again, I'm, I'm not supposed to say too much about it per advisement because of everything going on behind the scenes. Yes, this includes all kinds of stuff. Okay, it does, including <clears throat> con control over my financials. All that shit is illegal. I mean it, like every piece out there. Oh, look at this. Here's a, a leak, and I'm going to use this to say de defamatory stuff about Phil. Yeah, that's illegal. And again, people are so dumb. Someone literally just said in the stream chat, so everything's real. What did I just say? Are you fucking deaf, you stupid shit? Yeah, you are. Honestly, bro, some of these people's getting money to actually see the dumb shit he's doing. If you are a person who is donating to Phil and you're doing it as a means in which to support what he's doing in terms of maybe upgrading his setup so that he can play PC games, that money will not be going into enhancing the quality of the stream. It will go into feeding whatever Phil wants at the time. The last thing that's really on his mind is improving as a content creator. And honestly, given the way that he treats a lot of his audience, I don't really think they'll even care that he's just straight up wasting their money on stupid mobile games and alcohol. I just explained it. Oh my god, you gotta be fucking- someone just said what bills? What the fuck? I literally just said it. And I appreciate this. I really need the help. I need to hit this goddamn tips goal today. Please, guys. Please, if we can make it happen. I really need the help, okay? I have no money. True, right now, I have not played any mobile game in any major way in over two years, including this fucking WWE game that these idiots keep bringing up. One stationary. Negative 75% damage. That's really bad. I've never, ever used a hateful slur. Ever. And that pisses me off. I told you, Twitch is the future, Twitch loves me and my streams. Dear Twitch, 
Watch this video and listen to me very carefully. Uh, people don't like you, Twitch. So I went downstairs and I, sp I spoke with my wife. By the way, Kat is completely upset. She's crying. Oh, by the way, I have your IP, I have your name, and I have your address. Un Hit it. No, how about this? Band, 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 band.